Right, so we're back again. Um, as promised, uh, I thought I'd show you the plate which just holds the transformer power button and the um, the VU meter board. That's the VU meter board. I've, um, now this is a sample, so I don't actually know if the plate is going to be the same. Um, I've actually just printed this one in um, in ABS plastic on the 3D printer. It seems to work nicely, um, and these screw threads and everything seems to. Um, well, look, I'm happy with it. But no doubt we might just have this machined up in uh, uh, aluminium. It was for um, it would be a, a nice finish. Anyhow, so as you can see, the VU meter board goes on. It's nicely tucked away, um, and it's actually in a nice position. I.e., it's in between the two VU meters. Um, and then with the so as I said. On the previous video, so I could either use the um, the auxiliary power to feed into the VU meter, or if you don't have an auxiliary power, you're then just able to uh, use a transformer. I have to um, put some clips or something between the power feed going into the uh, the transformer, and then the output just goes. The output actually has to share between two. Uh, it has to go for the power button, which is an LED, so it requires, um, it's actually got resistor built in, so it requires between 12 and, or actually I think it's between 5 and 15 volts. This one is between 12 and 15 volts. Um, so, feed will go into the top two, that will share it on the top two, and then the remaining five, the, uh, is just for the VU meters, depending if you want to pick the uh, signal off the um, uh, output from the speak terminals or input from the XLR. But anyway, so that's that bit uh, done. I just now need to uh, wire this part up, put some clips on, and then add the, um, the toroids. Oh, and let's not forget to actually put the VU meters in.